Hey everyone, so back with a super quick video. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to yesterday's video when I talked about, actually I didn't talk about it, but I put it in the annotations on the screen, and I mentioned that when you change light and mode, you can kind of stack those on top of each other, and it's kind of an easier way to do things, and you can mask out the area. Um, let me show you what Lighten does really fast. So let's turn off these layers really fast. So we're just dealing with this one and this one. So as you can see, this one's quite a bit darker. The background here is quite a bit more dramatic, and that's actually how I wanted the scene to look. So if we bring in this, when we start um, bringing in flash to the car, you can see I bumped up the exposure a little bit and the background got quite a bit lighter. Um, the problem when you go into this mode and you change this to lighten, basically anything that's lighter in this frame compared to the bottom one is going to show through. So as soon as I change that to lighten, you can see everything is significantly lighter. But where this comes in handy is you can see when we toggle this on and off back here, I had some flash on the back um, fender. So if we were to change this one to lighten, we would enable that to shine through. All good, but you can see that the sky also got a little bit lighter and um, the, by the clouds moving and things, everything got just a little bit brighter. So you can imagine if we do that to all of these layers, it's just going to keep getting a little bit brighter each time and that's not necessarily something that we want. Yeah, the car looks great, but we lost that really dramatic background or sky that we were looking for. So here's a quick tip. If you have all of these layers, what you can do is you can shift click on the top layer that selects all of those layers. And then if you come over here, you can grab this little create a new group icon, click that, it puts all of those in a group. So they're all right there still, but if we collapse that group, you can see we can turn that on and off. But the really powerful thing that you can do is you can go down here and you can put a layer mask on that group. So now if we want that dramatic sky back, we just get our brush tool. We can click B or right over here. Um, we can use our bracket key to make that bigger. And then if we switch the color to black using X, we can come up here and we can paint that sky back. So if you see now, we have the best of both worlds. We have the proper exposure on the car, but we have that really dramatic sky that we were looking for. And it was really quick with just a, a couple um, changes of blending modes and then um, putting a mask on that one group so we didn't have to go in and mask each individual layer. We just took care of the group as a whole. So. Like I said, this was just a really quick video. Just wanted to show that and kind of follow up from that tip that I put in yesterday's video. So hopefully you like this quick tip and until next time, take care.